Last episode, more of a setup episode, right? We're in this volcano. What are we really doing? I'm honestly not really sure. But I know we're saving the desert people and we need to go to this volcano because it's like a labyrinth or something and we got to solve some shit. Let's begin today's reaction though. Okay, volcano conquered. Going too easy. Huh? Wait, that's not our attack, is it? Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Nah, he'll be fine, he'll be fine. No, see, see, he's good, he's good. I think. Uh, okay, that's a, I think he took some damage, but it should be fine. Everything was going fine. Then like a laser beam just shot out of nowhere. This is probably the most damaged Hajime has ever been. Oh, that was a cool moment. He, it's been a while since he went into that awakened berserk state. Oh, let's go, Teal. Yo, who's attacking us? Damn, his face got fucked up. Whose voice is that? Is that the demon, the, the lover of the girl that we killed last season? No? Dragon looking to... It, it is him, right? Look... I think so? I'm not completely sure, actually. But it is a demon. Uranus' breath. So it's a crazy attack. Yo, he's hyping us up. Like, how does he survive this? <laughs> See, Hajime still got it? Dude, bro got hit by a nuke and he's still shit-talking them. I think this is the the lover of the demon that we killed last season. I'm just playing with tropes. I don't care. Nice one. Breaking the fucking fourth wall. Your friend's arm? Friend's arm. Am I forgetting something? Friend's arm. Friend's Who's this friend? What other demon did we kill recently? Bagua. Fareed. His name is Fareed? Wait, God's a beating apostle. Well, he's not a demon. God's apostle? Wait, well, I'm kind of confused. Age of God's magic. Is this different from the ancient magic we're talking about from season one? Is this different subtitles? My god, though. Is it a different type of god from, you know, god of heat? We finally look like a, a worthy foe has appeared. I mean, so far, Hajime has just just rolled everything in this path, but maybe a, for, a worthy foe? Not enough. What are these turtles riding dragons? What? <laughs> okay, what's his power? He has to do incantation. <laughs> it already means he's a noob if he has to chant something. <laughs> Yo, we can't get through this barrier! Cosmic Rift? <laughs> Teleport? <laughs> Cosmic Rift? So he just teleports? That's it? Another display, uh, you're in his breath? I didn't realize we could use the weapon as a, as a shield. Yo, we're actually struggling. Wait. Pio? Is she about to do something crazy? She's monologuing? Transform into a dragon. Transform into a dragon right now. More backstory? The Dragonborn are also enemies of God. I did not know, actually. The gods will come after them? Interesting. More of a reason to oppose God. Nah. You just wait until the right man appears to pierce your asshole and to make you join his team. Beasts. Kind of just like how there's racism with against like, Shea, too. Yeah? Limit break! Yo! When was the last time we saw this? The lava though! It's fine, it's fine. They skipped that shit! I don't know what Crosspit is! They skipped that shit! 
crossfit basically just acts like some kind of shield too but they skip that shit I, you guys told me that they completely skipped this where's teo oh here we go here we go she transformed dragon on dragon battle let's go i want to see hajime ride teo not like that oh shit I forget, dude. I forget, like, how important Tio is. Hajime, get on top of Tio. I am the last of my kind. <laughs> is she so much stronger? Is she stronger in dragon form? She has to be, right? The classic Kamehameha beam wave. <laughs> No, Hajime! <laughs> oh, shit. Take that fucking sniper. Oh, what? Wait, not a sword? Wait. Did, no, it's a sniper rifle, right? <laughs> I think it just uses a sniper rifle as a sword. There it is! That's a fucking classic trope. Like, which beam attack wins? Still can't get over the fact that they have turtles riding these dragon things. Ah. Even with limit break, it's too much. He took too much damage. Yue. Someone's gotta catch him, right? Come on now. Imagine. Okay, there it is. Imagine if he just. What happened if he just, you know, dived into the lava? Would he die? He probably would, right? It's not over yet. I mean, who really won here? I don't know. It seems like it's like a 50-50. They got a quick one on us. They got a very... Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Those women serving him are extraordinary as well. Yeah. Our harem is crazy. Yeah, we have a dragon porn too. And... Yue. Exactly. Crazy vampire lolly. And rabbit Exactly. Our team is crap. And we have Kaori too. Oh, he knows about future sight? But we have two more. Well, Miu doesn't really do much, but you know. Exactly. He got a quick one on us. He sucker punched us to lead the fight. But even then, this is kind of like a tie. Oh, you want to keep going? What is it? What? Intent to kill. You know, I never really thought of it that way. Survival? Okay, that might be what makes more sense in season one. What tactic? What are you about to do? Collapsing the volcano so we'll be trapped in here? What? Let's just ride Tio and get out. Gee, if only we had some kind of flying beast we could ride and get out of here. No, this is still only episode 3. Come on now, there's no way he's dying. Just ride Tio and get out. Why only Tio? No, we can all survive this. Just ride Tio out. I'm confused on why we're not getting on Tio right now to fly up. But okay, we got a different plan. So without running away, we still want to finish clearing this labyrinth, even though there's magma rising. That's a lot of faith he's putting on Tio. It's kind of cool to... Actual serious moments with Tio. Because so far she's just horny girl, you know? But she's actually super important. Okay, she got the ring now. That's it. See you later. All right. So I guess we're still intent on clearing this labyrinth without just running away. Take that fucking black hole. Right. Even like uh, Shea has long range now too. Let's go, Tio. <laughs> Not now, come on! Damn, she barely made it through. <laughs> She's moaning, bro! She's moaning! Pain conversion. Oh, it actually plays into her stats too. It's not just horny degenerate fan service. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that's the, the bits again. Oh, 
Her voice acting, though, you, you gotta give it to her. Her voice acting is supreme. It's meme, it's funny. But yeah, she's nuts. Okay, the bits again. What is it gonna do? Self destruct? Nah, there's no way that guy's just gonna go down like that. I think that last attack was just a one last fuck you to him. He'll be fine. Okay, it's the princess again that we completely skipped in season one. Hmm? The silent treatment. Wait, the soldiers are all possessed? The soldiers are not there. Is the king possessed too? Or no. Damn. Ignored. She just got donor walled. Cut. Even her own daughter? His own daughter? Okay. Shizuku, best character, best girl character in this faction. I love her so much. New weapon, let's go. Oh, she's thinking about all the weak. No, she did fine. Although, yeah, before Hajime arrived, it wouldn't have gone well. Look at this, dude. I hope she becomes more OP. Flash Claw. Oh, ooh. What's that cute cat doing? You got a soft spot for cats? Oh, she's a cook out this side too. Strong. Oh my god. Naughty. Naughty kitty. Where did she get the cat pot from? Then again, she does have the cat ears too now. Strong girls like this? You know, whenever they see cats and they turn into this kind of form, it's always so funny. It's a gap moe. <laughs> no, it's not what you think, princess. Okay, she's not judging us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she still said Nia at the end. Koki, they're putting too much faith in him. <sighs> Quickly. Are they gonna force Koki to take. Uh, maybe Koki will go berserk. Like, they're gonna force him to get stronger and stronger and he becomes a monster. The bully. Bro. You're so fucking mad, but you couldn't say a single word to Hajime last, last time you saw him. What a coward. Hey, who is this? Is it a demon? Is he working with the demon? Dude, he was so scared he couldn't even make eye contact with Hajime. Yeah. Who is this? I don't recognize his voice. His wishes? You think Kaori will somehow fall in love with you, bro? It's never gonna happen, bro. Like, what do you think's gonna happen? You drag Kaori back. Do you think she'll just fall in love with you? Like, you're so dumb. Pleasant surprise. I thought this whole volcano mission was gonna be some kind of like boring labyrinth where we fight random CJ monsters. And we were doing that until my man Freed showed up. No, not Freed from High School DxD, a different Freed, God's Apostle. I'm gonna have to relook at the last couple episodes to make sure that he's actually the lover of the demon that we slayed. I think he is. So, God's Apostle. He's got like this. The subtitles are different. It's saying like um, a different type. They didn't say ancient magic. It said like God, some kind of magic. Maybe it's the same shit, but regardless. Regardless, an actual threat has appeared that can actually compete with Hajime. The bully at the end. Nah, come on. What are they doing with this guy? I thought that, like, if we were to kill him immediately, death is too easy of a way out. So I thought that we would keep him around to make him feel more tortured, him feeling guilty. And that's where I would get the pleasure of it. Like, that's right. Fucking suffer, dude. But she's, he's actually being controlled by a different girl. I'm not sure if this is a classmate or a demon, but there's a voice I haven't heard before. But regardless, he's going to do more dumb shit. I don't understand how he thinks that Kaori is possibly going to come back to him. Like, he was never, she, she was never with him in the first place. It's fucking mind-blowing. And Koki, the hero, they're doing something with him. They're putting a lot of pressure to him. And you saw how he was, you know, he, his, like, mind was shattered at the last season. Because, you know, Hajime just, like, did everything. If they pressure him to get stronger and quickly in this, like, short span of time, not really sure what's going to happen to him. Maybe his mind will break, too. But whatever. It's fine because the kingdom is going to wage war on Hatsumi, calling him a heretic. That's perfectly fine with us because the more people that come after us, Hatsumi has more reason to fight back. And that's going to be so good. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.